Warning, the following video features ex explicit language and gore. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, Fangrafer here and welcome to the final bonus video for Let's Play Doom. This is Sergeant Mark IV's Brutal Doom, a very, very infamous mod for the original Doom. There's a link in the description that will also uh, give you the standalone uh, game Brutal Doom Hell on Earth, which is made for pretty much Brutal Doom and its uh, gameplay style. So if we enter a new game, we have two, we have um, three options. This is from my set of picks, um, but we have modern and classic. I'm gonna show you classic first, and we're only gonna play Knee Deep in the Dead, and we have these. But then we have, I'm super bad, 12 in a 10 point scale of badassery, I think it is, black metal and realism. Realism is pretty much one hit and you're dead. Power fantasy is super easy, but we're gonna play ultra violence. So right off the bat you can see that the music is extremely different. It's a lot heavier and as you can see it's a lot gorier. And yeah, when I shoot these guys... Oh, they really do die. As you can see, it's really bloody, really gory. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I'm back. Now, the only difference... As you can see, my punch is a lot faster. Now, this is pretty much the Doom we just played. But it's a lot gorier. So, in case you liked um, the game that I played through, but you're like, I want it to be a lot, I want it to be more gorier. I mean, the game is supposed to be brutal and whatnot. Make, is there a way to make it more gory? Yes, it is. It's called Brutal Doom. And it's called Brutal for a reason. Just look at this hallway when I mow down these bad guys. And yeah, the game can sort of awards you to be brutal, so if, a, if an enemy is on his knees just crying out in pain, if you kill him, you might get more armor or more health. Uh, and I definitely recommend you play um, Ultra Violence or higher, <laughs> because let me tell you, this playstyle, oh my god, it is so much easier to kill anything in this game. Um, unless you play on uh, ultra violence, but as you can see, yeah, these things are a lot more da dangerous now with the uh, the explosions and whatnot. So I honestly really really liked what um, Sergeant Mark IV uh, Mark IV did. Uh, he pretty much changed the sprites and whatnot. You can also change so that they have different uh, enemy AI, like for instance. Um, you can have so that the imps uh, leap at you, you can have the normal imp infrared as you can see here, rapid fire at you instead of um, uh, shooting at you normally. And um, yeah, if you put classic, you pretty much go with the classic weaponry. Um, it doesn't take full advantage of the uh, changes that um, Sergeant Mark IV did. I mean, sure, you still have the over-the-top gore, but it's not gonna be like... I mean, sure, you can fire this thing a lot faster, um, and it's a lot more fun to just roam around with just the pistol, but it's nowhere near its full potential, if we're gonna say that. Um, but of course, as you saw, it also picks modern, and I'll, I will show that in just a moment. And yeah, the minigun is probably the best way for you to just decimate uh, enemies. Just look at this hallway. Compared to the original game, 
it would just be dead guys on the floor and small bits of blood, nothing this big. And you can actually change the amount of blood, and yeah, the game is quite brutal when it comes to killing uh, to your to you dying. So let's check out modern again. Uh, knee deep in the dead, ultra violence. This gives us a uh, assault rifle. You can aim down the sights, but if you reassign the buttons so you have a button to taunt with. Yeah, he flips the bird and literally taunts the enemy. This is a way for you to get um, uh, enemies to come to you, pretty much. Um, sure, the aim down sights kind of helps when it comes to playing this. Um, and yeah, every weapon have like these sick, uh, secondary... Uh, fire modes, for instance. Uh, another thing added here is a lot uh, better um, uh, unarmed combat. For instance, if you kill an imp and you get the demonic rune, you have the ability to perform uh, gory fatality, uh, fatalities on your opponent. Uh, and that's actually what inspired the um, glory kills in uh, the new Doom. So it's kind of nice that a fan mod inspired the real people behind the original game. And yes, you have a mighty boot from um, uh, uh, Duke Nukem. But yeah, this is. I mean, I understand. If this was the version of Doom released uh, way back when, because this this is insane. Just look at this. Now I know that I'm usually a lot more family friendly and doesn't play that many gory games without you know warning for you know viewer discretion is advised and this game is rated M for mature yada yada. But considering that this is a mod, this is not the original game. And the fun thing is, this mod works with Doom 1, Doom 2, checks quests, of all things, but you need to use, um... Oh yeah, here, Rip and Tear. So if I write... Never mind! <laughs> but yeah, if you kill someone with this, you can pretty much, um... Uh, literally rip them apart. But yeah, like I said, every weapon in the game has secondary aim, uh, secondary functions. It can be anything from aiming down size to um, using a lot more ammo to use some, a lot more of a devastating attack. And just because it's pretty much modern mode, you need to reload. But yeah, I wouldn't put it past any one of you to try this out and then pretty much never go back to old school Doom. Now, uh, Sergeant Mark have released a lot more uh, updates to this game as of late. Uh, for instance, what he've done is uh, he's taken the weapons from the new Doom and put it in. Now, there's a lot of mods for Brutal Doom already. It can be like adding a magnum to the game, um, adding new weaponry, changing the HUD, stuff like that. So, I gotta say, this is a really, really well done mod. And as you can see, the secondary function for this thing is to rev it up. We just click once and then fire, and it uses up a lot more ammo faster, but it also kills enemies a lot faster. So, yeah, it's pretty much your go-to cleaning device, if we're gonna call it that. But yeah, um, like I said, the download link for this game is in the description below. Um, it's completely free to download, you don't need to be a member of, um, 
uh, the page that sells and uh, that uh, the uh, mod uh, modb.com to get it. And um, yeah, if you want to play uh, Brutal Doom on the original Doom, on the sec on Doom 2, etc., all you need to do is just take the Brutal Pack uh, of the game and um, take the you know Brutal Doom version 20 and put it in the folder where you have uh, the Doom game. But I would recommend that you. Um, um, create a separate folder for uh, this thing. And also, the secondary thing for this is just swing it from side to side. Sure, it still works like this, but swinging it... Oh boy, swinging this thing! Yeah, it, it pretty much rips them apart. So yeah, for any one of you who, for some reason, looked at the original Doom said, It's good, but it needs more gore. This is for you. And, yeah, when it comes to Doom, I know a lot of you probably just waited like, Okay, is he gonna show Brutal Doom for uh, a bonus? Is he going to talk about Brutal Doom at all? The certain mod that he talked about, is it Brutal Doom? Yes, it's Brutal Doom. <laughs> This is probably the version of Doom that I have played the most. Uh, to be fair, I haven't beaten it like this because it, it's a lot more difficult uh, playing with Brutal Doom, especially if you uh, upgrade the um, enemy's uh, AI. And yeah, it just wouldn't be not. It, it just wouldn't be this game if I didn't. Yeah, you have a bunch of ways to die. But yeah, that is all. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in Transylvania.